Is it over here? Yeah, over here. Over here? Is it over here? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I'm a junior doctor working in London. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the London Foundation School's factors to consider when applying and the strategies that you can employ to get a foundation post in London. I'll be splitting this video into three parts. Number one is the introduction to the foundation schools themselves. Number two, the statistics. And number three, the strategies both broadly and specific to your EPM score. I'll be speaking specifically about the London Foundation Schools in this video, but if you wanted to find out more about the overall application program for the UK Foundation Program or picking Foundation Schools, you can check out one of my two videos over here. And I'll also link the video in the description below. So let's get into it. London is the capital city of the UK and it is an incredible place to live and work. It's got food, it's got festivals, it's got shopping, it's got the hustle and bustle, honestly just an amazing city. There are some amazing hospitals here and as such there are lots of opportunities for junior doctors to be working in these hospitals. Within London there are three foundation schools, North Central and East London and North West London are found above the Thames, so north of the river and South Thames Foundation School found, unsurprisingly, south of the river. South Thames is a huge deanery which encompasses South London as well as going all the way down to Brighton and all the way east to Margate. Most of the South Thames rotations involve a year out of London and a year in London, whereas for the North Thames Foundation schools, they'll mostly be both in London. London is a unique place to work for many reasons. It's got a good social life, good research and networking opportunities, urban and suburban living, great food, which is obviously a big plus for me. However, it is also a very busy place with fairly high living costs and although you do get London banding, honestly it's barely enough to cover your transport. So therefore working in London depends on your priority and the type of person that you are. So I've done some research into the statistics of the foundation program in the years 2019 and 2020 just to give you guys an idea of what to expect when applying. Generally, the statistics are fairly similar every year. However, it can differ from year to year as well, so just bear that in mind. Every year, the London Foundation Schools rank among the most competitive in the country. In terms of competition, the North Thames Foundation Schools, including North Central and East and North West, have the highest competition ratios in the whole of the country, while South Thames, with a larger number of spots and a larger geographical region, has a less competitive ratio. However, in this table, you can see that all 100% of applicants in London deaneries ranks their London choices in their top five, and for the North Thames deaneries, in the top two. A majority of all three are actually first preference allocations, so essentially, if you want to get a London job, you need to be ranking it in your top choices. In terms of EPM cutoff scores, South Thames was the lowest in London in 2020, with a cutoff of 78.165 out of 100. And the North of Thames Foundation scores even higher at 85 and 84. So if you compare it to the national averages, it's definitely on the higher side. So to summarize from the statistics, London is one of the most competitive places to apply for in the country. If you want London, you need to be putting it in your top choices. And if you want North of London, you need to be putting in your first or second choices. And finally, choose your London school based on your APM, but more on that later. So, you want to get a foundation job in London and now you know the statistics and your expectations. When you're figuring out what you want to do, ask yourself two things. How much of a priority is it to get into a North of the Thames Foundation School in North London? And how feasible is it with your current APM to apply for a London school? First of all, if being in North London is a big priority to you and you have a realistic EPM after estimates that is at all possible, definitely put it down at least as your first or second choice. Even if you don't quite reach the cutoff based on your estimated EPM, I would still put it first or second choice. Why? Well, let's consider the scenarios. If you happen to do really well on your SGT, then you'll get into the foundation school of your choice. If you don't, then it will just move down into the second choice or third choice foundation school without consequence. And this advice actually applies for any situation, whether you're stretching for South Thames or any foundation school. Second, obviously, EPM scores are very, very important because London is such a competitive area. And I'll split my discussions based on different EPM scores so I can give more direct advice. If you've got an EPM of over 87, honestly, congratulations. You've more than likely busted your butt off in medical school and before medical school and you have deserved and earned that right to work wherever you want to. With an EPM of 80 to 86, this is a really interesting range because you're within the cutoffs of the North of the Thames Foundation Schools, but oftentimes people don't know whether to put those first or to put South Thames first. And I guess it just depends on your priorities really. If you'd prefer to be in North London, you should definitely put the North of the Thames Foundation Schools first 
because there's absolutely the possibility that you will get in. But then you should think about job allocations and how you rank within the school. Because after you get into the foundation school of your choice, you are then ranked against everyone else that's inside it. And that's when decile breakdowns are really handy. These are some tables that I got from Messley, which is a great resource for junior doctors. And they show the decile breakdowns for the three London foundation schools in 2019. You can see within the foundation school where you would have been ranking wise with your estimated EPM score. South Thames is a bit more complicated because it has five different groups with links and continuity, but it's still helpful to know this information in advance and see where you rank. And this is what I wanted to highlight. If you took an EPM score of say 85, you would have landed in the 7th decile in North Central and East London, in the 8th decile in North West London, but comfortably in the top 50% in all the South Thames links groups, and actually even in the top 25% for 3 out of 5 of them. That can have a massive effect on where you actually end up working and the rotations that you have, so think about that versus the priority of being in North London, because it's definitely worth bearing in mind. Moving on, with an EPM of 76 to 80, the North London deaneries might be a bit of a stretch, but South Thames Foundation School is easily still within reach. If you want London, you can think about ranking South Thames first and be optimistic about your SJT to give you a higher ranking and more suitable jobs. And you can also consider neighbouring deaneries like Wessex or EBH. With a predicted EPM of under 76, you are unfortunately a little more limited here, but if you still want London, your best bet is still to put that as your top choice. And in my advice, that would be South Thames as your best bet. You might smash the SJT and get where you want to go. And even if not, you can always apply for the neighbouring schools like Wessex or EBH, geographically right next to London, so it's not the end of the world at all but like I said if you don't rank it first your probabilities are zero so shoot your shot so just to wrap up a couple of final quick tips from my good friend orange cat over here Orange Cat's top tips. London schools are competitive, but if you don't rank them first, then you just won't get it. Bear in mind your projected EPM when applying, and if you really want to get into London, think about South Thames if you got a borderline score. Finally, don't forget to think about where in your foundation school you rank, because the rotations and the jobs that you get within your foundation school are equally as important as where you are. So this has been a quick whistle stop tour of the statistics and strategies that you can use to get into London and I hope that you found this useful. I've had an amazing time working and living in the city of London. It feels nice being back in the hustle and bustle of a city to be honest. Anyways, I hope you found this useful and if you'd like to see more videos helping you through medical school or about life as a doctor, please feel free to subscribe down below and follow my journey. I'd love if you could press that like button down below as well. My next video in this series will be about picking your foundation jobs and how you can do that and things to factor in as well. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or message me on one of my socials and I'm always more than happy to help in any way I can. But for now guys, that is it and I'll see you guys in the next video.